You are listening to KSG podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil service aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about world's population touching eight billion. Source for the content is the Indian Express. The human population touched eight billion on the fifteenth of November two thousand and twenty-two, a milestone that heralds both opportunities and challenges. especially for india which is set to become the world's most populous country next year by surpassing china while the united nations hailed the 8 billion figures as a testament to humanity's achievements the united nations population fund said that the growth of our population is a testament to humanity's achievements including reductions in poverty and gender inequality advancements in healthcare and expanded access to education these have resulted in more women surviving childbirth more children surviving their early years and longer healthier lifespans decade after decade now however in a report The UN officials said that rapid population growth makes eradicating poverty, combating hunger and malnutrition and increasing the coverage of health and education systems more difficult. Now, talking about unequal distribution, the UN population report said that the global population is growing at its slowest rate since 1950, having fallen under 1% in 2020. The world's population could grow to around 8.5 billion in 2030 and 9.7 billion in 2050. It is projected to reach a peak of around 10.4 billion people during the 2080s, 2080s that is. and remain at that level until 2100 2100 more than half of the projected increase in the global population up to 2050 will be concentrated in eight countries the democratic republic of the congo egypt ethiopia india nigeria pakistan the philippines and the united republic of tanzania Countries of sub-Saharan Africa are expected to contribute more than half of the increase anticipated through 2050. Now, how India is placed? India is projected to overtake China as the world's most populous country in 2023, with prospects to reap the demographic dividend as the median age of an Indian this year was 28.7 years, compared to 38.4 for China and 48.6 for Japan against a global value of 30.3 years. The population prospects report had said that India's population stands at 1.412 billion in 2022 compared to China's 1.426 billion. India is projected to have a population of 1.668 billion in 2050, way ahead of China's 1.317 billion people by the middle of the century. According to the UNFPA estimates, 68% of India's population is between 15 to 64 year olds in 2022 while people aged 65 and above comprise 7% of the population as per UN estimates over 27% of the country's population is between the ages of 15 to 29 at 253 million India is also home to the world's largest adolescent population 10 to 19 years UNFPA has noted that India has its largest ever adolescent and youth population according to UNFPA projections India will continue to have one of the youngest populations in the world till 2030 and is currently experiencing a demographic window of opportunity a youth bulge that will last till 2025 Now how is China placed China which is weighed down by a rapidly increasing aging population is projected to enter a severe aging phase in 2035 with 400 million people above 60 years this can be blamed mainly on its decades of one child policy China's elderly population reached 267 million last year according to accounting for 18.9% Wang Haidong, director of the National Health Commission's Department of Aging and Health, said it is estimated that the elderly population will top 300 million by 2025 and 400 million by 2035. As per him, the size of China's senior population and its proportion of the total population is expected to peak around 2050. posing huge challenges to the provision of public services and to the national social security system as per Wang on the one hand china is rapidly aging on the other its population is in decline due to falling birth rates this is raising concerns over the future availability of a labor force the main driver of the country's economic growth china's population grew by less than half a million last year to 1.4126 billion 
as the birth rates fell for the fifth consecutive year since last year china has allowed couples to have three children and even announced incentives for people to have more children now talking about a note of caution from un secretary general un secretary general antonio guterres has highlighted some of the challenges the world is facing saying that as our human family grows larger it is also growing more divided unless we bridge the yawning chasm between the global haves and have nots we are setting ourselves up for an 8 billion strong world filled with tensions and mistrust crisis and conflict guterres wrote adding a handful of billionaires control as much wealth as the poorest half of the world the top 1% globally pockets one fifth of the world's income while people in the richest countries can expect to live up to 30 years longer than those in the poorest as the world has grown richer and healthier in recent decades these inequalities have grown too that's it for this podcast thank you so much for listening to join ks jinder courses and to crack the ias exam visit ksjinder.com You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjna.com.